Hello, I must tell you something important. There's exactly one thing I love more than anything in the world. Can you even guess what it is? Of course, it is my teddy bear! We spend every waking second together. And every sleeping second, too. Bear is so wonderful, I just have to brag to everyone. You out there, have you seen my bear? There's simply nothing I love more than bear. Which is why I am so very mad at Tucker. He is my little brother, and he is too wild. Do you see how wild he is? So wild, it's scary. Your barking is scaring her. Tucker ripped Bear. Now, Bear is falling apart at the seams. And Mom doesn't want me ripping him more, so now Bear has to stay up there. Up there. Stay strong, Bear. Excuse me, other toys? They don't hold a candle to my love, Bear. My life has become darkness. Wait a second. Grandma? What are you doing here? What are you doing with Bear? What is going on here? <laughs> You're going to fix Bear? Grandma does emergency room surgery speed for the donkeys. My hero! I won't bother you, but I will stand right here. Are you almost finished? I'm working on it! I just started it! <laughs> Please be so careful. Bear! Speak to me! <gasps> Bear looks perfect! Can Yes, please! Good girl is the bear. Grandma, you really, really did it! I can't believe it! I love you so much! Okay, small quick change to what I was saying before. There's exactly two things I love more than anything in the world. My teddy bear, of course, and my grandma. <laughs> She throws a ball better than anyone. And gives me pets better than anyone. Whenever she comes to visit, I can barely handle it. Grandma's coming. Grandma! I see her! She's right there! Where's the grandma? Where's grandma? There she is! Grandma! It's me! It's you! You're here! Grandma! Let's play! Inside is fine, too. Oh, grandma's here. Grandma. So there it is. My two favorite things in no particular order. Though Grandma is honestly probably number one. Sorry, Bear. Tucker, you're not on the list. I'm still mad at you. Mazzy Dog has a problem. Someone keeps coming into her yard every night. Someone or something. But by the time she goes outside in the morning, they're already gone. And her toys are all over the place. Who is doing this? Why are they doing it? Is it a raccoon? Is it a tiger? Mazzy needs to know. She's going to stay up all night and wait. Mazzy, I hear them. Go! Oh, she almost caught them. What did they look like? Hmm, only one stripe on the tail. Can't be a raccoon. She does have orange fur, but I'm pretty sure a tiger wouldn't have run away from you, Mazzy. Then who is it? <sighs> Mazzy, we're gonna need to get more serious. We'll get ourselves a hidden camera and see what we can see. Aha! It's our suspect. But who or what are you? She looks like a dog. <gasps> She's a fox! A wild fox right outside the window. She must be the one playing with Mazzy's toys. Maybe we can catch her in the act. She's roaming around, but not touching the toys? Hmm, maybe this mystery isn't over. Who could be, oh 
Oh, she has a friend. Two Fox best friends. Ah, she was waiting for him to play. And chase each other. And wrestle. And <clears throat> whatever that is. We solved the mystery, Mazzy. These are the two who keep messing with your toys. Henry, sweetie, you can't bring that home with you. Oh, it'll fit. Just give me a minute. You can't. Henry, that can't come home with you. No, this is working. Ow. You can't bring that home with you, honey. But this is my favorite stick. You gotta drop it. What if I come at it from a different angle? Out of the way, Mom. Can't bring that home with you. Hey, you want a cookie? A cookie? A cookie? I found the most perfect stick in all the world. A stick so large and perfect that it belongs in a museum. And you want me to drop it for what? A tiny cookie? <laughs> no, this guy is coming home with me. Let me try again. There's got to be something we haven't thought of. Yes, in here, in the front seat. That's it. Brilliant idea. Stick, I'll see you soon, okay? You'll be safe up here. Maybe I can just ride up here, too. No? You think you're bringing that home, Henry? No, oh, I sure am. Just gotta figure out how. You gonna get that in somehow? Yes. Okay, Stick, it's you and me. They said it couldn't be done. Henry. Whoa. Whoa. Yep, I am in control. Just gotta get a better oh, angle. Good boy. <laughs> Come on, Stick. Let's go in. Ow. We did it! We're inside! Nice. Now, where's the elevator? Oh, yes, it, right here, where it always is. I, I just got so excited. I couldn't, I think. Okay, hurry up. You waiting for the elevator? Let's do this! Oh. I'm okay! Good boy. <laughs> Have you ever seen a stick this big inside a house? I know exactly where I'm gonna put it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And now, you and me, Stick, are gonna take a nice, long rest. You're not taking that to bed. What? What was the whole point of this then? Come on! You see, I've always loved finding big sticks. The bigger, the better. But Mom never lets me take them home. Until now! What if I just keep a small piece of it? Henry. Let mommy have that. It's time for bed. No. It's time for bed. Nope, nope, nope. Let mommy have that. Look over there. Works every time. Henry. You'll never take it from me. Henry. Yes. What are you doing? Can mommy take that away from you? No. Can mommy take that away from you? No, thank you. It's time to go to bed. I'm going to bed. With stick. You're not taking that to bed. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. You can't catch me. Henry, can we take that away? Mm-mm. What's that? Do you want this cookie? Oh, you think you can tempt me? Give Mommy the stick. You can have this cookie. Nice try. I have the will of a warrior. Okay, fine. <sighs> I miss stick already. I'll never be happy without stick. Wait, what's that smell? A stick cake? Can you go down? A stick cake? A cake that's a stick? Yummy! Oh, tastes like the real thing. But like cake. My one true love. Fear not, small box. I will save you. Let's get you back home where you belong. Container, get to the rescue. Stop, citizen. Stay where you are. Yes, I'm talking to you. You, the one on the other side of the screen. Uh, hello. I hope you're not gonna cause any trouble, cause it's my duty to defend and protect against any evildoers. They call me Container Cat. Okay, fine. My real name is Oliver. But you cannot tell anyone that, cause Oliver is just my secret identity. I'm a superhero. I fight the crime and the bad guys do the time. What crime is that? Crimes against containers. Don't look at me like that. Containers deserve to feel safe too, you know. It's a very important job. I look for any container in danger. And if they need a rescue, 
I'm there in a flash, like lightning. Hey, yeah, pow, pow, meow, boom, baby. Must save container. And like every great superhero, I've even got my own origin story. Cause I wasn't always container cat. Not long ago, I was living outside, underneath a bush, all by myself. Okay, pause. How cute of a kit was I? <laughs> I mean, for real, look at that. Okay, let's continue. I was actually pretty sick and there was no one around to take care of me. I needed a hero. Luckily, my super mom swooped in and rescued me. It was like I was her protege, her sidekick. But once I was a healthy kitty, I knew exactly what I was meant to do, become a superhero. And that's when my super training began. But you're probably wondering where the containers come in. Well, when my super mom rescued me, I became a part of a big family filled with dogs and birds and even some other cats, which you think would be great, but no one in the house wanted to be my friend. They just didn't get me, you know? And once again, I was all by myself. Dark, brooding, very cool and dark and brooding. Until I met containers! And my world was changed forever, again. Containers became my best friends. No mom, no touchy. These empty containers fill my heart. Now, I've made it my mission to rescue and befriend all containers in the house. And someday, the world. Honestly, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of containers that need see- <gasps> Did you hear that? That was the container call. That means a container needs my help. Oh my bin. What happened here? Where did all these containers come from? Are you okay? Who did this to you? Was it her? You fiend, get out. <gasps> Are you hurt? What did she do to you? Oh, now my little clear box is a wonder, don't you worry. Container Cat is here to help. I will get you all home safe and sound. You sure came by on a good day, citizen. You really got to see me in action. Now it's time for me to get back to work. But before I leave, always remember, a container in need is a friend indeed. Or something like that. I don't know. I'm still working on the whole catchphrase thing. Anyways, container cat, away! Oh, hey, that's a pretty good one. Someone write it down. Who's got an opposable thumb? Anyone? He's gotta be around here somewhere. Did we check this room? Did we check the car? Where is he? Um, hi. This is really not a good time. My shrimp is missing! My best friend? My plush pal? My little cutie peanut? My silly little whoopee? <clears throat> Sorry, I'll start over. I'm Gumbo. And whenever you see me, you see shrimp. Except for right now! Cause he's lost! Shrimp, where are you? <clears throat> Let me give you the backstory. A few years ago, my mom saw the cutest stuffed animal at the store. She loved it, and she just had to have it. But when she brought it home, I was like, um, wait a second, that's mine now. That's my plushy buddy. Because I mean, look at us, we're twins. Hi, hey, yeah, hi. She realized pretty quickly that her shrimp had become my shrimp. Shrimp and gumbo, gumbo and shrimp. They go together like, um, gumbo and shrimp. From then on, shrimp and I did everything together. We went on hay rides. Shrimp loves hay. We had photo shoots. Jeez! But what did we love doing the most? Exploring the world. Every road trip, we cuddled in the back seat together. Shrimp really loves a good snuggle. And every hike, we'd walk the trails together. Okay, I guess I'd walk the trails while I held shrimp in my mouth. But still, that was our favorite thing to do together. <sighs> then, out of nowhere. You guys, 
we lost Shrimp. Shrimp was gone! And we can't find him! Oh, Mommy, what am I gonna do? I miss him! And he could be anywhere! Maybe it's time I retrace my steps. Okay, so he's not in this room. And he's not in this wagon. Let me check the car again. Nope, nothing. If I was Shrimp, where would I... <gasps> That's it! Our last adventure! He's gotta be at... The Shrimp! The Shrimp! Shrimp? The shrimp. Is that you? Oh my god! Oh, shrimp! I'm here to save you! Shrimp! Are you okay? I was worried sick. We found you! Shrimpy! Phew! I am so relieved we found Shrimp. He's part of the family. And without him, I'd be like... Well, I'd be like Gumbo without Shrimp. And our family would be incomplete. Gumbo and Shrimp forever! <laughs> Let go! You uh, can't have Mr. Stinky! <laughs> we gotta get you out of here, Ball! Oh, oh good, you're here! Cause I really need your help! Well, Mr. Stinky Ball is in danger! Excuse me? Who's Mr. Stinky Ball? This is Mr. Stinky Ball! He's my ball! My favorite ball! The only ball for Bruno! Oh, that's me! Bruno! Sure, I got some other toys, but none of them has Mr. Stinky Ball's special qualities. Like his rolliness and, oh, oh, his very best quality. His irresistible stench. Imagine a mix of wet socks, dog food, and love. But someone is out to get him. And that someone is my mom. I mean, I love her the most, but uh, do you know what she said? She said, You know, Bruno, I think Stinky Ball is getting just a bit too stinky. Too stinky? More like too perfect. Plus, he's rolly and fun to chase and roll and chase and roll and... Wait, Mr. Stinky Ball, uh, where did you go? Hello, Mr. Stinky Ball, are you in there? <laughs> there you are. You scared me half to death. I thought Bob got you. That's it. We gotta hide you. Let's see. Ah, oh, I know. The water bowl. Mama will never look in here. Um, just hold your breath. What have you done? What? How did she? Stinky Ball's not meant to be in your water bowl. Wait, no, stop. Where are you taking him? Let's put it in the washing machine. But won't that wash off his stink? In it goes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hang in there, Mr. Stinky Ball. It's gonna be okay. I promise. I can't believe this is happening. What am I gonna do if he comes out of there and he's not stinky anymore? Will he still be my Stinky Ball? Will we still be friends? I still remember the day Mom got you for me. You look nothing like you do now. All clean and white and completely ridiculous. But the more we played together, the dirtier and stinkier you got. <sighs> Good times. Okay, Brute, time to get Stinky Ball out. Oh, Mr. Stinky, are you okay? Say something. Oh, hi, bud. You're safe now, and... <laughs> You're still stinky! Good thing I wasn't worried for even one second. Nothing could ever stop your stink. Wait, what's mom doing now? I think it might finally be time to get rid of this stinky ball, but I've got a good idea to do something that will still keep Brune happy. Uh-oh. It sounds like mom means business this time. But luckily, I've got a plan to keep Mr. Stinky Ball safe forever. Well, I wonder who that is. What's in this box? Oh, a package for me? Oh, and it's huge! Uh, let's open you up. Uh, what could be in here? Uh, whoa, look at all these new balls! And is that my face on there? Uh, there must be one, two, three, four, five zillion! Give or take a few zillion, of course. Almost enough to make me forget all about Mr. Stinky Ball. But if Bob thinks a giant box full of balls is gonna make me forget about my friend... What 
that now? <gasps> is this another present for me? Oh, why is this one in Christmas paper? <laughs> is it Christmas already? Oh, well, whatever. Uh, let's get you open. <laughs> what could it be? Oh, a giant ball pit! Oh, look at all these! Oh, I'm just gonna dig around in here! Oh, oh yeah, oh, that's just as fun as I thought it would be! <sighs> Never gonna stop! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mom! I love all of these! I'm so sorry I made such a stink about Mr. Stinky Ball! Because he's gonna be so excited to meet them! What? You didn't really think I was gonna let you get rid of him, did you? It's pool time! Oh no! Wait, wait what is happening? Oh, do, what do I do? Boomer, you're spilling all the water! That's not how you get in a pool! Why don't we try it again? Ah! Quick, somebody get some paper towels! Lift your legs up! Lift your legs up! No, both legs! All the legs! Ugh. Boomer, did no one teach you how to get in the pool? It's super easy. Just run up to the edge of the pool and jump over the side. Piece of cake. You can do it, Boomer. Go! A little faster. It's just walking when you go that slow. You're not going to have enough speed for... Uh, that's just what you were already doing. Go, Boomer. You can do it. Uh, okay, we'll just give you a teeny tiny boost. Perfect! Finally in the water! Now we can have some fun! Boomer, I think you'd stay in here all day if you could. But you can't keep spilling water all over the place every time you want to take a dip. Because if there's no water in the pool, then there's no water in the pool! Hey! I think I've got an idea! The boost we gave helped, so maybe you just need a little boost all the time. Like a step stool, or what about this table? You just put your legs up here like so. No! What? How? <laughs> Maybe you just need a little time to practice. Here we go. Oh, no. Why did he do that? It was right there. Right there. Can you at least use the stool when you get out of the pool? Yes, yes. No, no. <laughs> uh, I know. You just didn't like that stool because it's a table. You want something better, something special, made just for you, our special water boy, which is why your dad is building you this puppy pool platform. He must really want to help you figure out how to get in the pool. Ooh, maybe he could make you a diving board too. I mean, this has to work. Boomer! Why, Boomer, why? I'm running out of ideas here, my furry friend. Boomer, we might have to put the pool away if we can't figure this out. Let's try again tomorrow. I think we could all use some shut-eye. Good night, Boomer. Gah! What was that noise? Are you serious? Get out. Boomer! You can't go swimming in the dark. Go back to bed. <sighs> oh, there you are. Hang on! Did you spend all night out here? You know, Boomer, it's clear you love the pool, and I don't want to take that away from you. Besides, it's kind of adorable when you flop in the way you do. I mean, why else would we have taken all these videos? Maybe we can just fill the pool a little higher, so it's no big deal if some gets spilled. After all, you are our special water boy. Hey, I was trying to say something important. Where do you think you're going? Hang on, you're using Dad's puppy pool platform? I knew you could do it! Ugh. It's okay, buddy. Maybe we can get a crane. Or a trampoline. You don't have to keep trying. Holy mackerel in a kiddie pool! You did it! You did it! We're so proud of you, Boomer. I guess you just needed enough time to figure it out on your own. Let's go celebrate. Hey! We just got out of the pool. Come back here. Wait! Did you just jump right over the side of the pool? Without causing a gigantic flood? You could do that this whole time? Well, well, you're just full of splashy surprises, aren't you? Stand back, villain! You will not defeat me! The village is saved! All thanks to me. 
Lady Pinto Bean. Master Swords Dog. <laughs> Vanquisher of Evildoers. <laughs> okay, these aren't actually evildoers. They're my parents. And I'm not really vanquishing them, because this is a pretend sword. <laughs> Just imagine it's real, okay? That's what I do. <laughs> Mom and Dad are actually brave warriors themselves. Before I became a swords dog, I would watch them practice battle in our home. Oh, how I wish to battle. Until finally, I was like, hey, let me get in on that. Gimme! At first, they would not gimme, so I had to get creative. Stick sword! Mwahaha! And then, when the time was right, I finally fulfilled my destiny. Oh no! Oh, no. And she has upgraded her weaponry! <laughs> From then on, Lady Pinto Bean was unstoppable. I won every battle. I even defeated the vacuum cleaner single-handedly. <laughs> Vacuums are very evil, if you didn't know. I became an expert at swordcraft. Care to know my battle secrets? <laughs> First, I size up my opponent to see if they have any weaknesses. Then, I wait to lure them into a false sense of security. Maybe Lady Pinto Bean won't attack me, they think. Maybe she'll let me continue to do my evil deeds unpunished. Then, when they least expect it, I go cuckoo bananas on them! Hear my battle cry! As time went on, I grew more and more powerful. Until it started to go to my head. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? There's a lady here who wants to speak to the manager. What does she want? I don't know, ma'am. What do you want? We're out of treats. <laughs> and then, one horrid day, it happened. My sword broke. Oh, no! And with it went my power. But I realized something. In my attempt to stop all pretend evil in the land, I had become the pretend evil instead. <laughs> Perhaps my sword breaking was a blessing. It gave me time to think and take naps on the couch. I realized that if I ever picked up a real fake sword again, I needed to only use it for good. Father, mother, I think I'm ready. It will need to be a special sword, though, to reflect my new tune. A sword forged in the fires of a great volcano in a distant... Oh, what's that at the door? It's here. It's here. It's here. Is it? <gasps> a new sword? Lady Pinto Bean, Master Swords Dog, is back! And this time, she will be incorruptible! That means good forever. Flee from me, all who wish to do evil! Whoa! Excuse me, coming through! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Stick, 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 stick! Do do do! I have a stick! Do do do! Oh, hi there! My name is Snoop, and I love sticks, like this one or this one. So many sticks! I love my sticks, and my sticks love me. But let's get serious for a second. Because I'm in a bit of a sticky situation. I am on a very important mission. To find the biggest stick in the world. I found small sticks. I found medium sticks. And some pretty large sticks too. But now, it's time to find the biggest. It will be mine. And I will take it home and make it the centerpiece of my great stick collection. But where could this big gigantic stick be? I have searched the entire world and I can't find it anywhere. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Is it floating in here? Maybe it's over here. Could it be a muddy stick? Ah, mud. I'll just relax here for a minute. 
Okay, break time is over. <laughs> time to find that. No, Dad, I cannot shower right now. It will delay the mission. Don't you know I have to find the biggest stick? It's been my lifelong dream ever since I decided it was. Could this be it? No, it's definitely this one. What about this one? Let's just take them all home. Gonna take all my sticks home, do do do. Do do do, just me and my sticks. Oh no, who put this here? Don't they know I have sticks to take home? Maybe if I just angle it this way. Well, don't just stand there. Help me save my stick. Just a little to the left. Almost there. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I have seen so many sticks in my time that I've begun to wonder, will I ever find the biggest stick? What if I find one? And I think it's the biggest. But then later, I find an even bigger one. And so on, and so on, forever and ever. Never ever finding the actual biggest stick. I guess my search will never end. Maybe it's best I just give up. I don't think I'll ever find. Wait, <laughs> do you smell that? It smells like the biggest stick! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Over here, over here! No oh boy, I found it! I found the biggest stick! We gotta get this home quick and add it to the collection. I did it, I found the biggest stick. Yes, I did, do do do. Wow, today was a great day. I found the biggest stick and I can finally rest. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.